Sana, nung buhay siya na nagpe-paint, sana nakikipaint din ako sa kanya. Ah, wow. di ba? Pa-abstract ka na ngayon. <laughs> abstract painter ka na. Oh, di ba? Hey, healers! Hershey here, back for another episode. Thank you so much for joining us for today's adventure at sobrang simple lang ng kailangan natin. Papel! Kaya join na kayo here on She, she Tried, Tried Art, Art to, to Heal. Heal. Exciting tong episode na to dahil we will be talking about healing through art. And as a survivor of harassment and a counseling psychology student, I really believe that one can find healing in many different ways. At isa na nga dyan, ang pagda-drawing or pagpipainting. At today, makakasama natin isa sa mga pinaka-iniidolo kong tao. She's a veteran actress who I really, really admire. Theater man yan, pelikula, TV. I just really look up to her as an artist. And I was blessed to get to know her more during yung taping namin for Jose Maria's Bongang Villa. Kasama ko ngayon si Miss Shamaine Buen Camino. Thank you Aww. for your kind words, Hershey. <laughs> Hindi talaga po, Miss Shamaine. As in, idol na idol ko kayo. I just want to say thank you for welcoming coming us here sa house mo. Of ang ganda-ganda. Ganda, ganda ng studio niya, <laughs> diba? Salamat, salamat. Today, we're going to learn about art therapy. Is that what you would call what we're doing? Actually, um, I wouldn't call it art therapy. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'd say it's therapeutic. Nakakatulong sa pagproseso ng mga nangyayari sa buhay mo. Pero pag sinabi ng nag art therapy ako, ibig sabihin, may therapist ka. May nag interpret But art making is therapeutic. Yan. So, ano po ba yung gagawin natin today? Okay lang po ba yun na hindi ako marunong mag-drawing? <laughs> yes! Um, hindi kailangan, lalong-lalo na ngayon. Kasi, ang gagamitin namin ay mga... <laughs> Palette knives. <laughs> oh. Pero hindi mo kailangan bumili nito. Kasi kung meron kang credit card or any, any hard plastic, syempre yung credit card, hindi nyo na ginagamit. Ano? Um, pwede nyo gamitin yon. Basta ang importante sa art making, kung ano yung meron ka at the moment, yun na. Ngayon, bago tayo mag-umpisa, Hershey, ayan, yung pen mo. This is just to ground you for the day, mm -hmm. no? For for this moment, mahakatulong sa you yung pagawa ng arts. Pag it allows you to look inside yourself, mm -hmm. ko ano yung pinagdadaan mo ko na mga iniisip mo ganon. So yun yung iya ano mo na natin, isusulat, ijo journal. Walang magbabasa nito. Hindi kailangan correct ang spelling or ganyan. Maganda yung handwriting. Maganda handwriting. Basta ka ngayon. So, ito lang. Usually, you start, of course, di ba, in, in, in any endeavor, you're breathing, you're ano. Pero when you write kasi, that naturally happens. Mm -hmm. Mabilis na mabilis lang. Mag-isip ka ng isang taong lumisan na, na mahal mo, Okay, pwedeng kapamilya mo, o pwedeng kaibigan mo, o kahit pet mo. Tapos, magpasalamat ka sa kanya. Siguro, let's give it uh, a minute okay. to win it. Okay. <laughs> okay, any anytime. So, pwedeng Tagalog, pwedeng English, Taglish, Spanish, German, kahit ano. Pasasalamat, pasasalamat, salamat. Kahit kung hindi mo may isip ano pa, salamat, salamat, salamat sa... Okay. <laughs> Pili ka na ngayon ng kulay mo para tuloy-tuloy lang kasi naglabas ka ng emotion mo, naglabas ka ng ano mo. Just reach out to a color that you want and just put it on top a little like that. It's nice to have at least more than one color for this, syempre, para meron kang paglalaro ang... So just, just, ano, squeeze it around. Any direction, just, you know, play with it. Walang mali, walang tama, kasi laro lang naman eh. Di ba ang saya? So yan yung unang layer namin. Ngayon... Bakit ang bakit mo Bakit mo? At isa sa mga dapat yung gawin, huwag nyo i-judge yung ginagawa nyo. Ngayon, pwede kang tumigil na dito kung gusto mo eh. Kasi okay na yan. Pwede na. Ilabas mo na yan. Ang importante, nilabas mo na. Pero kung gusto mong gumupa at gusto mong magkaroon ng images na, alamawa, bulaklak or whatever, ano, kuha ka ngayon ng color na lilitaw mula sa, ano mo, sa first layer mo. Oo. So, ganun din ulit. Ilagay na lang natin sa, yon. ay, ang dami. Okay. 
Tapos, using again palette knife, or ako, I'll use na the smaller one. Ano lang to, image mo ng bulaklak. And you can you can even just do abstract uh, colors. Relaxing siya, no? Diba? Kasi parang wala kang goal. Oo. Tapos, you're just pushing color around. Ganun lang kasimple. Speaking up of self-exploration, how did you end up being an art advocate? When my daughter died, I wanted to explore ways of healing and, and, and getting better. Aside from medication and talk therapy, art therapy is very used abroad. Dito sa atin, medyo hindi pa talaga, di ba? Very artistically inclined ang Pinoy. So, sabi ko, kayang-kaya itong gawin ng Pilipino na mag-explore ng art para i-heal yung sarili nila. Kasi yun po ang wala tayo. Wala tayong masyadong doktor, mahal masyado ang gamot. Hindi tayo mayaman doon. Pero mayaman tayo sa artistic expression. Okay, ngayon... <laughs> Ba't kayo tumatawa? Parang Christmas. <laughs> Christmas talk. Kasi malapit na ang Pasko. Okay. Ngayon, ano pa ang gusto mong gawin dyan? Ang isa mong pwedeng i-explore, ito gamitin mo, ihagurin mo siya ngayon. Mula umpisa, pababa lang. Ah, wow. di ba? Pa-abstract ka na ngayon. <laughs> Abstract painter ka na. Oh, di ba? Basta, ang importante, don't be end result oriented. In fact, art therapy, mas importante pa nga yung paggawa kesa sa final result. Final result. Okay. Happy ka dyan? Happy yes. na. Oh, maganda, maganda siya. <laughs> di ba? Kanina sabi mo, pangit. Ikaw talaga. Nag-give up ka kaagad sa sarili mo. Ang <laughs> saya. First time ko itong gawin. Ah, talaga? Oh. Okay. So, mura lang. At saka hindi naman ganun kahirap. Ay, we're done. Tapos, yes. Ay, Sabi mo, 10 minutes lang eh. Hindi, hindi, hindi nga. Kasi parang, it was so simple. Yes. Tapos tapos na. Tapos, yes. Ang therapeutic nga, because you get to be in the moment. Yes. Ikaw po, like, how did you, how were you able to deal with your feelings of sadness? In my case, um, kalimitan kasi ng mga tao, pag naiiyak sila, tinatago nila yun, di ba? Ayaw nilang umiyak in public. Ako, dahil actress ako, pag naiiyak ako, umiiyak ako. Kahit na nasa gitna ako ng, <laughs> ng maraming tao, sasabihin ko lang, excuse me. My training comes with the instruction na to observe what you're going through as an actor. Kasi you observe what you're going through, your emotions, especially if you're emotional, and what's happening in you. And I've learned uh, through experience then na pag umiiyak ako ng grabe, syempre, lalo na nung mga first few days, ano, merong hinga after. Nakakahinga ka talaga. Parang nilalabas mo yung sakit na nararamdaman mo. Talagang nakakaluwag. Yun. So, yung allowing emotions, allowing difficult emotions to run through you and not, you know, stifling them and not pushing them away helped in my healing. Mm -hmm. So, Ms. Jermaine, mm -hmm. can you please tell us more about your story? Yeah. So, as most of you know, my youngest daughter died at the age of 15. Uh, in the year 2015, um, she took her life. And the family, we, we didn't know what she was going through. And because I needed to understand what happened, um, I went through her stuff, her things. And there I saw that as early as 12 years old, she was already suffering something. And so I uh, brought her stuff, her, her drawings and her diaries to a doctor, to a psychologist for psychological autopsy. And the doctor told us that she had a uh, borderline personality disorder. And of course, at the time, talagang, ha, ano yun, di ba? Hindi ko alam. Um, so I continued researching about this, and I asked God, I'm, I'm a Catholic, um, uh, what, why, <laughs> what happened, and all, and all that. And processing it for about a year, I really felt that I should talk about Julia's story, if only to tell parents what they should look for or or reach out to children 
who are as young as Julia and tell them that it is an illness. It's not their fault. Because in diaries ni Julia, syempre, dun lumabas na she was blaming herself. She felt that she was a burden. And she thought she had ADHD. Uh, akala niya, yun yung problema niya. And she was self-diagnosing. And because our kids, especially, diba, they have great access to online information, nag-self-diagnose na sila. Um, and a lot of times, like in Julia's case, she was managing it on her own, uh, sharing it to her friends, telling her friends that she was cutting herself, but not telling any adult who could have helped her. And her friends just told her, tell your parents. But, you know, she, she said yes, but it never really reached us. So she never really had real help in terms of a psychologist or a psychiatrist. A year after her death, uh, we launched the Julia Buen Camino project. We do exhibits. Um, we hold space for more talk on uh, mental conditions, mental health. And our usual um, exhibit is is a bamboo tree. And then we, we fold uh, origami uh, paper cranes because when Julia died, right before that, her sister got married and she was tasked to fold origami paper grains so parang it became a symbol of her for us and and we would ask participants to write on that origami uh, paper and, and fold it and hang it on the bamboo tree that would always be surrounded by benches and the benches I asked my former classmates to interpret using Julia's poetry so parang ganun, parang yun yung usual exhibit namin. And then we'd bring it around to schools, to galleries, and, and really try to hold space for people to talk about uh, mental conditions, to encourage especially children to understand what happens and to be kumbaga, supportive to each other. And because I, I wanted to offer more than just numbers of doctors or, or my story or our story, Julia's story, I started going into uh, art making ang inaano ko na lang with the with the Sabado Arts PH kasi it's so important for mental health to be proactive hindi po tayo maghihintay na may problema na tayo saka lang tayo gagawa ng steps hindi po bago po mangyari yon parang ano parang our physical health then bago tayong magkasakit nag-exercise na tayo kumakain ng mabuti natutulog sa tamang oras di ba ganun din po sa mental health uh, we have to have a way to express uh, our mental difficulties. Kailangan mailabas po natin yun. And one very effective way of doing it is journaling, whether it's through words or through art. It allows you, it gives you a way to monitor yourself. So you can even look back, kahit na isang buwan lang, makikita mo, ay last month pala, sobrang lungkot ko kasi ang kulay ko, puro dark. Pero ngayong month, nasa ano na ako, parang naglalight na yung kulay ko. So kahit sa ganun lang kahapyaw, ma makikita mo yung pinagdadaanan mo. Nag-evolve na yung ano ko, yung aming advocacy. So napunta na talaga sa mabigyan ng paraan, ng ibang paraan, yung taong may pinagdadaanan. Hindi lang yung Ang consumption kasi, di ba, yung, yung you watch a movie to feel better or listen to music to feel better. Ano yun eh, papasok. Ito, there's a better way yet. Release, pagpalabas, palabas. Ngayon, maganda kung may kausap ka, kahit isang tao lang na papakinggan ka, makakaintindi sa'yo, kahit na hindi nila alam kung ano pinagdadaanan mo, makikinig lang. Pero kung wala, ang blank page po, laging nandyan. It's a safe space always kasi hindi po yan sasagot sa inyo. <laughs> so mailalabas niyo kung anong kailangan niyo ilabas. Maraming salamat po for sharing and ang ganda po nung sinabi ninyo na you know this is a safe space mm -hmm. and once you release everything, kumbaga alam mo na napapakinggan mo rin sarili mo. Mm -hmm. Kasi kailangan din natin yun, pakinggan natin yung sarili natin because a lot of times we are told na kalimutan na yan. Yes. Move on na. Yes. Move on na. Yeah, wala po dapat magsabi sa inyo na move on. Pag sinasabihin po kayo na move on, huwag niyong pakinggan. Especially for those people who are grieving, wala pong oras yan. It will always have a scar. And so, it is up to us to respect that scar and, and give ourselves time to be with that 
pain. Oh. Parang sabi nga po ni WandaVision sa Disney, what is grief if not love persevering? Yes. So, there is grief and there is sadness in the first place because there was love. Yes. The way I see it nga po with your Sabado Arts Program and your mm. Julia Ben Camina Project, mm. it's so full of love. Yes, because we loved her very much. Mm. How was she like po? How was Julia like? Si Julia yung tipong she'd go out on the streets and dance. Yung kahit walang music, sumasayaw siya, tas may hilig siyang kumanta. She was into arts. In fact, the first few paints that I used were hers. Uh, yeah, so it really felt organic for me kasi pag ginagamit ko lalo na nung start yung mga paints niya, parang feeling ko nakikipag-uusap ako sa kanya, parang kas kasama ko siya. Ang malungkot lang para sa akin <laughs> ay um, sana, nung buhay siya na nagpe-paint, sana nakikipaint din ako sa kanya. Pero hindi ko yung nagawa. Kaya pag sinasabi ko rin sa mga families na um, make art, uh, sa mga parents na give your children um, coloring materials, do not just give it to them. You sit with them, you create with them, magpaint kayo together. Kasi yun po yung, yung makakapag-heal uh, sa inyo or yun yung makakapag-allow sa mga anak nyo to share with you. Kasi pag nagaganyan kayo, parang mas relaxed. Yeah. Di ba? Mas connected. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Kaya nga po, I, I really admire you for what you're doing now. Mm. And I'm sure po that you know how the people we love, they're everywhere. Mm. And I, I really believe that Tuhulia sees this. Na, like, I really believe that yung art mo, it's your way of connecting with her. And she's here. She can... Ang, ang ganda nga po na, you know how some people would be so afraid to look back at her things and mm. use her paint. But... You're reaching out to her, using her paint and doing the things that she loved to do. Would you say that this is a way of you honoring her life? Yes, yes, of course. Um, my advocacy is to honor her life. And although 15 years lang siyang buhay, um, she gave us so much love also. And um, that love was enough. 15 years was enough uh, for us to continue on. Uh, with her, still with us, kahit na nasa, is, na, nasa ibang dimension siya. Yung nandito pa rin siya, buhay na buhay para sa akin, sa, sa ginagawa kong advocacy, sa Julio Ben Camino Arts Project. And of course, all this is because of her, and because of her life and her death. And she's very much alive through your art. And nakikita ko nga po, ang dami niya pong pinopost. Like yung letters niya po sa inyo, ginagawa mo ang art. Yes, kasi especially for those na nawalan na ng, ano, especially the parents, no? A lot of times, di ba, we keep our children's, ano, yung mga letters nila, yung mga cards nila, yung mga doodles nila ng bata pa. Ganun po kasi ako, hindi ko tinapon. <laughs> tinago ko ng tinago. So now, I actually use her artwork. Ini-embed ko, sinasama ko dun sa ginagawa kong paintings or dun sa ginagawa kong artwork kasi talagang physically nandun siya, ba? Nandun yung ginawa niya. Meron siyang part dun sa ginawa ko. Nag-join kami <laughs> to make an artwork. That's beautiful. And I admire you. It's so hard to talk about grief and sadness. What made you do this? Actually, alam mo, nung namatay si Julia kasi, hindi ko maintindihan talaga kung anong nangyari. Kasi, Ginawa ko naman lahat ng alam kong dapat kong gawin bilang magulang. Minahal ko siya, pinag-aral, sinuportahan, pero meron palang mga nangyayari sa buhay ng anak ko na hindi ko alam, na hindi ko nakikita, which is my fault. She had uh, suicidal thoughts as early as 12 years old. Can you imagine that young? So, um... I, I don't know, maybe because of the numbers of people taking their lives have really skyrocketed, especially during pandemic. And it already affects children. So as a suicide loss survivor, I really feel that it's almost like a responsibility to reach out and to inform people that th this is happening. 
now. And it's an epidemic and we have to do something about it. We have to give support, especially to children, because they don't know what to do. They don't have the vocabulary. They don't know that this can happen to anyone. Walang pinipili po ang mental condition. And when you said po that, you know, kids will have a, may have a challenging time to express, that's where art can come in. Yes, now yes. when they don't have the words for it, they yes. express it yes. in their art. Yes, I keep telling parents na parang, I think it's about time that we tell our children that there is such a thing as mental ache. Di ba pag bata pa and you're trying to uh, form their vocabulary to express themselves. You teach them, pag masakit ang uloy or tummy ache, do you have a tummy ache? You, you give those terms, di ba? Children have to be aware now that there's such a thing as mental ache. Children who have uh, are prone to a mental condition, they're very sensitive. Now, their sensitivity can be channeled through arts. They can express themselves through arts, but they also have to be educated, told na, um, if you are having those thoughts, Anna, tell me, tell us. There's nothing wrong with you. Uh, you are not a burden by telling us that you are going through this mental conditions. So I like what you said that you're introducing kids about mental ache. Like yes. tummy ache, head ache, mental ache. And normalize it in the family yes. that it's okay to have mental days, mental health break days. Yes. For a long time, us parents have believed that the most important thing is for our children to go to school yeah. and graduate and they will become successful and that's it. The pressure to excel, to please us, uh, that's uh, that's that's uh, suffocating for them. So being aware of that, tayong parents, parang ano, ano bang importante sa'yo na buhay ang anak mo? O honor, na o, honor student ang anak mo, hindi ba? So ease off. Thank you for sharing. And um, before we wrap up, what is your message of support to families who also experience suicide loss? Actually, from my experience, when I was grieving, I couldn't join any support groups. There are some support groups in the Philippines like INA, if you are into that. But in my case, my journey was a personal journey. I had to look for the reasons sa gamit ng anak ko. So for me, knowing truth, knowing what happened was my path to, to, to healing. Pero I think ang common for me, ha, um, what I found most helpful is you have to go out of yourself. You cannot uh, just focus on your pain and, and what you need. It's best when and fastest to heal when you go out of yourself and you look at what other people need and how you can help them. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> During the pandemic, I lost one of my friends. Oh, wow. Suicide and <laughs> it's okay. No, it's true what you said when there are questions like, What if I called? Mm -hmm. What if I reached out more? Yeah, yeah. Was there something you could have done? And that's why I think it's really important what you're doing right now because. Not a lot of people talk about life after suicide loss. And I like what you said, na it's a very personal journey. Yung healing is so personal, and you found yours through searching for answers, through really looking at her work and honoring her through her art. And with that, <laughs> it's time to to say goodbye. But before we do, ako talaga ginagano eh. Kailangan po makita nyo ito. Napaka-saya po ang tingnan pag tinatanggal. Napaka-ano po, di ba? Tinan mo, di ba? Ang saya po pag tinatanggal nyo na yung inano nyo, yung, yung pininturahan nyo. Ayan. Promote nyo naman po yung Sabado Arts. Oo. Oh, oh. uh, yung Sabado Arts po, well, as of now, we're still trying to do it uh, live every Saturday. Normally at 3 p.m. para lang may common time. Pero dahil po kuminsan, eh, nakakabanggaan niya rin yung aking isa pang trabaho, <laughs> yung pag-aartista, eh kuminsan na move po yan. Pero sa, kung sa IG account ko po, Shamaine Buen Camino, um, naglalabas din po ako ng mga 
art activities on a daily basis, I think, or yes. more or less. Right now, I'm, I'm really using um, this stuff um, on my um, IG account. Actually, yeah. nga, first liker mo is. Like, 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 Maraming guests. And pinafollow ka din yung guests. Kasi guest ko na rin siya. <laughs> kasi hindi ako artistic. Pero yun nga, I learned today na kahit hindi ka artistic, kahit hindi ako marunong mag-drawing or mag-painting, diba? it's, kumbaga, it's, it's me. That's my yeah. heart. That's yeah. my soul. Yeah. Huwag niyo lang i-judge agad sarili niyo. <laughs> si Hershey, umpisa pa lang. Ang pangit. <laughs> Miss Charmaine, actually po, sobrang fan talaga ako <laughs> ng isang Charmaine ni Ben Camina. So, okay lang po ba magpa-picture? Oh, well, di- kahit nag-work na tayo at lahat, parang pagkasama pa rin kita. Oh my gosh! A game. Ayan. Yay! Yan yung picture namin. So, okay. Nalagay ko siya here. To wounded healers, you are blessed to have gone through pain and to have learned how to carry the wisdom forward. You are needed. You are made to continue the journey of healing by sharing your story to our community. Padayon, the wound is where the light enters by Rumi. Thank you, thank you, thank you for for giving me this opportunity here, Shiva. Thank you, Paul, for your story. <laughs> wow, thank you so much, Ms. Shemaine. So, mga viewers ngayon, I hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe, and follow Ms. Shemaine Ben Camino on Instagram for more art activities like this. Till next time, thank you!